the coalition of ordered governments, at face value, may be seen as the ultimate supranational alliance of military leadership, but the COG were no saints in the slightest. Some of the things about the COG are outright evil, disturbing, and things are way worse than what meets the eye. As always, I'm your host Abs, and today I've compiled five of the COG's dirtiest secrets in Gears of War lore. Number one, Azura. Built during the mid-Pendulum War era, Azora was an island and was designed as a bunker for the COG's elite in case of a global holocaust. The bunker was fitted to be an island resort for the wealthiest and most elite of the coalition. Sometime after the Pendulum Wars began, the COG began to kidnap scientists for study in the possible cure for emulsion, but the research they would conduct outside of Azora would cause a leak of the information regarding the emulsion parasite. This led to public speculation as to where the scientists have gone, and several tabloids were correct on the fact that a secret island is holding these missing few. Some, however, were volunteers. In fear of Azora being compromised by locust or human, Prescott had Adam Phoenix build an adaptive atmospheric manipulation system, or better known as Maelstrom Barrier. This device would create an artificial hurricane storm around Azora Island to make it impassable for sea and air transport. Strong altitude vehicles were used as transport. Keep your mind, keep your mind. This is all I can I'm recover. Afraid. I've tried to contact you over the years, but I've been held prisoner at Azura since Prescott of Beaver Duck Zora. Keep your mind on the emulsion countermeasure. That's all that matters. I've been at Azura since Prescott abducted me from the estate. Prescott abducted me. Prescott abducted me. I'm Fucking Prescott. Prescott God abducted damn him. <laughs> Number 2. Liren Prison Liren Prison was one of the many COG Prisoner of War camps that was operated during the Pendulum Wars. It held prisoners from the Grazny army who suffered abuse at the hands of the gears guarding the facility. Some prisoners were burnt with hot plates while others had their hands cut off. Half of a captured Grazny regiment starved to death within the fort's walls. The Grazny soldiers who survived their time in the facility carried scars with them for the rest of their lives with some of them holding a grudge against the COG for their horrific treatment. The COG government of course never told its civilians or the rest of the armed forces about the war crimes committed against the Grazny. With details about Lairon prison only coming to light during the stranded insurgency on Vectus, when the remnants of the Republic of Grazny joined the COG on the island. One survivor of the prison showed photos of the crimes there to Sergeant Marcus Phoenix, who was horrified at what the gears there had done. Number 3. Niall Samson During the Pendulum Wars, Dr. Niall Samson became a renowned scientist in Tyrus under the Coalition of Ordered Governments. He later maintained a high position under the Coalition's Department of Health. Recognised for his accomplishments, the Coalition invited Dr. Samson to Azora. As resident and researcher on Azora, Dr. Samson helped build Azora into a place of solitude and ingenuity. As such, his voice was used as inspiring public announcements to encourage the work of other scientists at Azora. Meanwhile, on the mainland, the miners of emulsion and their families began suffering from a new fatal respiratory condition called Ruslung, caused by the overexposure of emulsion vapours and fumes. Due to the coalition of ordered governments gaining economic and political power from occupying the majority of emulsion reserves, the chairman at the time, Chairman Monroe, demanded complete confidentiality regarding its health effects in order to prevent repercussions of releasing a toxic fuel source to the public and thus losing political power over Sarah. The Department of Health then designed the New Hope Research Facility in order to house and treat the children of emulsion miners sick with Ruslung. Of course, based on his previous work, Chairman Monroe appointed Dr. Niall Sampson as director of the New Hope Research Facility leading the research into finding a cure for Ruslung. However, unfortunately, Niles believed that with emulsion, DNA could be manipulated into evolution. Using the DNA of indigenous creatures from the hollow, believing they held genetic immunity to emulsion, Dr. Samson mutated the children with it in order to cure them of Ruslung. The children then unfortunately transformed into aggressive, genetically unstable specimens Niles called the Sires seeing them as the forefathers of an evolutionary superior race. Shortly before the shutdown of New Hope and his appearance at the House of Sovereigns to stand trial, a fringe element within the coalition personally reached out to Niles. The party revealed that they have the best interests of the coalitions in mind, but are pragmatic in their efforts. 
criticizing Chairman Monroe for his moralist ways interfering with true progress. They not only believe that Niles' work could end Ruslung, but also create genetically engineered super soldiers to help end the pendulum wars against the UIR. Niles agreed to the invitation, and the Cogfringe party used Nethercut mining to build a secret facility at the base of Mount Kadar. There, Niles could transfer his remaining loyal scientists and all of his subjects and work without ethical restriction. Long time ago, I got posted to a genetics lab. They were supposed to be curing Rust Lung. It went sideways. I just wanted payback. For all the shit the cogs made me do. Number 4. Classified Information Chairman Prescott was very secretive of classified information that could potentially damage or destroy the cog should anyone find out and was willing to kill anyone to keep the truth buried. Prescott, along with Adam Phoenix, were some of the few Sarans that knew Queen Mira existed as well as the true nature of the New Hope research facility. Despite having knowledge that could have potentially helped the COG win the war faster, Prescott instead used whatever resources available to instead cover it up. When Sergeant Gabriel Diaz confronted Prescott about the existence of New Hope, Prescott attempted to kill him and Sid Redburn with a Hammer of Dawn strike in order to cover up the truth rather than sharing what he knew which could have potentially helped them to kill Ukon, a major threat to humanity. At the same time, Prescott put humanity at further risk with his cover-up attempt because Diaz and his forces were attempting to kill Ukon, a vital mission that Prescott himself had given them. It was only during Operation Hollow Storm in Gears of War 2 that Prescott declassified the file concerning New Hope out of desperation to find the local stronghold, Nexus. However, he simply classified it as a decommissioned COG outpost that held potential answers and refused to reveal the exact details of the connection. Similarly, Prescott hid the truth of emulsion and the Lambent pandemic from Colonel Victor Hoffman, despite repeated attempts to get answers from him. As a result of Prescott's lies and cover-ups, Hoffman ultimately lost faith in his leadership. Excuse me, sir, but what the hell? Just declassified? And what do you mean, a locust queen? Everything is on a need-to-know basis, Sergeant. On direct orders from the chairman. You have your oh. mission. Now get to it. Come on out. Anybody else's bullshit detector just go off? Marcus, man, this shit sounds sketch. If Hoffman didn't even know about this place. Number five, Adam Phoenix's knowledge of the Locust and the Lambent prior to Emergence Day. Dr. Elaine Phoenix was the mother of legendary war hero Marcus Phoenix. She was a developmental biologist and an expert in morphology, well surpassing her husband, Adam Phoenix. Nine years before Emergence Day, Elaine went on another expedition into the Hollow under Jacinto, doing field research in off-limits areas. At some point during her expedition, Elaine was discovered and killed by the Locust. In 5 BE, unable to find closure over his wife's disappearance and apparent death, Adam finally investigated Elaine's belongings to retrace her steps and discover what happened to her. Among her journals, Adam Phoenix found that Elaine had discovered an underground race of intelligent humanoids known as the Locust Horde. She wrote that she planned to continue observing them before revealing her findings to the public. With this knowledge, Adam Phoenix ventured into the Hollow. In an attempt to uncover Elaine's fate, Adam found the Locust Horde. It was then revealed that Elaine had been found by the Locust while observing them and had been executed in the Hollow. Instead of being killed however, Adam was brought to the royal palace of their capital city, Nexus, and met their leader, Queen Mira, a human. Adam's intellect and resources led Mira to believe that he could be of use to her and her people. Queen Mira revealed to Adam that the locusts were the product of genetic experimentation, children of emulsion miners sick with rust lung, who were brought to the New Hope research facility during the early Pendulum War era to study the effects of emulsion and to find a cure. The director of the facility, Dr. Niall Sampson, went mad and mutated the sick children with the DNA of the indigenous creatures of the Hollow, resulting in the sires. Mira was one of the children brought to New Hope, but she exhibited complete genetic immunity to emulsion as well as rustlung. 
So Mira then requested Adam's assistance, as the people were engaged in a conflict with their own brethren who had become possessed by the emulsion, which she called Lambent. She needed Adam to find a solution to cure or kill the Lambent without harming the locust horde, as they were genetically tied to emulsion. The ultimatum was, however, that Queen Mira would launch a global attack and conflict if Adam would not be successful in curing the Lambent in order to escape the Lambent and colonize the surface. So Adam agreed to assist them, but in the end, he failed to find a cure for Lambency as he focused to help the Cog with the Hammer of Dawn technology to win the Pendulum Wars, leading to, well, Emergence Day. This led to the Locust Horde invading the surface. Therefore, Adam Phoenix knew that Emergence Day was inevitable. I'm sorry. It's my fault they're here, Marcus. I failed to stop the emotion spreading all those years ago. It drove the Locust out of their warrants. I tried to persuade Mira to keep her people underground, but they couldn't. So then... Wait, wait, wait. Did I hear right? The government knew E-Day was coming, and none of you bothered to warn us? No, just me. Even Prescott didn't know. Not until much later. I had so many ideas. Just too little time. So that, my friends, are five of the Cog's dirtiest secrets in Gears of War lore. It really does make you wonder, who is in the right, if not the Cog? It could be argued that the Cog are just as bad as the Locust. As crazy as it sounds. Drop a like if you enjoyed this lore video, subscribe for more similar content like this, and I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen if you want to watch my other lore videos as well. I'm your host Abs, and as always, I will catch you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.